Well, this year is Canada's 150th, and our friends at the Calgary Zoo are celebrating Canadian animals. We're here at the zoo today to find out more about our country's most amazing and iconic native species. Well, with no fear of heights and the ability to practically defy gravity, mountain goats are a pretty cool animal and a lot of people around our area will be familiar with them on their trips up to the mountains. What else uh, maybe people aren't so aware of about these animals? Yeah, well, actually, I would suggest that most people think they've seen a mountain goat and they've actually seen a female Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep, okay. right? So our provincial mammal. Um, Mountain goats are typically way up high in the alpine, whereas the um, sheep are the ones that we're typically seeing near the highways. Very closely related, um, but the goats are a lot bigger. They're not a herd animal, they're solitary. Okay. They will only really be found in groups when it's courtship season, or when they are maybe raising some babies. You might see a couple of nannies and a couple of their kids together. Part of this has to do with the fact that you've got a really big animal that is subsisting on incredibly small amounts of food that you find in the Alpine. Right? Like we can't even get up there to hike until what, you know, mid-July if we're lucky half the time and it's still there's a ton of snow cover. And these are vegetarians, right? Like they have to find some way to sustain themselves. So that's always been something that's just boggled my mind how this animal that the size of it, that it can subsist on so little caloric intake, but we're already seeing very worrisome changes in trophic levels. So uh, where you are on the food chain, what, how much food is produced or consumed at each level, mm -hmm. um, when we're seeing a big decline in certain plant species because glacial melt has done everything from bringing down minerals and changing pH of soil and suddenly there's way more water than there used to be and this plant species is what this goat needs to have to survive and suddenly it's not there anymore. They only have so many places they can go. That's in that high elevation range that's meeting the same need. What you hope is that there are certain species that will be able to find little niches that yeah. will answer that same, or they will adapt and find a food that will still answer that same need. But it is, yeah, it's it's a huge concern. Yeah, and that's, that's why so many scientists are going, hey, guys, we gotta do something about this while well, we still have the choice about it, right? right? And that's, that's the idea behind it.